Hi, everybody. Welcome to Cross Street. I'm Ted. And I'm Kim. Let's jump in and review those Cross Street values. Don't forget to shout out the responses. Here we go. Number one, love God. Why? Number two, love people. Why? Number three, do your best. Why? And then number four, our last one, have fun. Why? Why? Because we want to have fun, right? Okay, so awesome job, everybody. Let's stand up and worship Jesus together. Have you ever met those who keep humming when the song's through? It's like they're living life to a whole different tune. And have you ever met those that keep hoping when it's all blends? It's like they figured out what the rest have in the year. The second you realize what you have inside, it's only just a matter of Sans 
So when you're standing in the rain again, you might as well be dancing. Why? Cause the rain on storm that can change how this is. So next time when you feel blue, don't let me smile. Something bubbling inside of you, spilling over cause your life is full. How incredible, undeniable, monumental like the Eiffel. Uncontrollable, let the joy flow through. Ha ha, giddy over pity, pretty please. Let me see your hands in the air with you. Watch your seats, warm it up, let go, shout it out, celebrate when you can't articulate. Just say amazing grace. The second you realize what you have inside, it's only just a matter of. Kim, Kim, I have a very funny story to tell you. What is it? Okay, yesterday I put blue paint all over my dog, and then I blamed it on my brother, and now he is in trouble, even though I did it. It was hilarious. Um, how is that funny? Didn't I say does, it was blue? Does that mean you lied to your mom? And that uh, really could not have been very nice to your little brother. Well, I mean, it's okay because it was funny, right? Even though I love Jesus, isn't it okay to tell a lie every now, now and then, especially if we have fun with it? Um, I, I don't think so, but mm. let's ask our friends at Connect HQ and see what they have to say. You think they agree with me? No. Hey, Tony, check out this postcard we got. Hmm. Hey, really quick, can you smell this milk and make sure it's bad? Uh, yeah, it's bad. Yeah, I thought so too, I agree. Then why did you make me smell it? Uh, I don't know, just to make sure the, the stink stink, you know? It stunk. It reminds me of a smell that I will never forget. Well, <laughs> what's the postcard say? Well, it actually has to do with the smell I was just remembering. It's from our friend Lindsay and it says, Dear Connect HQ, I sometimes pick on my brother. I know I shouldn't, but he deserves it because he picks on me. Because I'm a Christian, does that mean I have to stop? Well, what does that have to do with smells? Well, it all goes back to this time that Luke brought his lucky socks to Connect HQ. Checking off my to-do list, check, check, check. Checking off my to-do list. Check, 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 the floors are so nice and clean. Check, 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 the sink looks like a dream. Check, 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 this place runs like a machine. Thanks to my routine. Check, check, check. <clears throat> Sing happy song in the lounge. Check. We are Connect, Connect HQ. HQ.
Every day we help the people of the world. Live God's way. We look for the links. Make the connection. And you never know what might happen. My name is Luke, and this is how we answered the problem of the stinky sin. Check, 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 check. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood today. Well, my list is almost complete. Connect HQ is fully operational, and... Where are my lucky socks? And what makes them so lucky? Well, they look good, and... I never wash them. What does that smell? Oh, I finally found the package that I was missing. It was stuck in the mail chute. Yeah, well, no offense, Captain, but it smells like dead flowers and old paint. I ordered these nail polishes, and they threw in all these free samples of perfume. <laughs> no! We're indoors! You're not supposed to open! It looks like a couple of the bottles broke, and all the free samples spilled together. Oh, it's filling the hub with an odor. Ugh. Goodness. Ugh. Do you smell something funny? Mike. It wasn't me. This time. Oh, what is that? Oh, it smells like somebody hairsprayed cupcakes. Or poured gasoline on honey. <laughs> gotta vacate the HQ now in an orderly fashion. We've got an odor. This is not a drill. Is this, is this a real emergency? Yes, my nose is burning. This is a smell hazard. Be vigilant about ventilation. Stay aware of the air. If we let the smell get trapped in here, it'll be stinky. And trust me, you do not want to be known as a stinky HQ, hmm? <laughs> so we must get rid of every last stink. Uh, I will make no promises. When we were outside the building running from smells, it looks like we missed a message from our field office from the island of Galapagos. What's a jalopy ghost? And we're rolling. What's up, Connect HQ? As you can see, we're pretty excited over here. I just met Amy, and she's a brand new follower of Jesus. She came in today to share her great news and to ask us a very important question. Take it away, Amy. So, I've got this big test coming up at school. Before I accepted Jesus and became a follower in God's family, I did pretty well on my tests because I looked at my neighbor's paper. I know I should study and not cheat on the tests, but I was wondering if I could get a pass on just this one test. Would it be chill with God if I just held on to this one thing and gave him everything else. As you can see, this has us pretty agitated. Can you help us mellow it out? Thanks, Connect HQ. Well, that's an easy one. Sin stinks to God, including cheating. Getting rid of trash like this. No more stinking sin. It's time to grow up. That sounds like the perfect point link. I think I got this one. No more stinking sin. It's time to grow up. Point link uploaded. I'll look for a Bible link. I'll look for a verse link. And I'll take out the trash. <laughs> Hi! Okay, so Sarah, what group are you part of again? I'm with the quiet time group. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, so we have a kid with a big problem. She's a new follower in God's family, but she wants to hold on to her sin. What should we tell her? Would you mind if I said a quick prayer before we get started? 
I would love that. Oh, praying to ourselves. Amen. Amen. The Quiet Time group is dedicated to helping HQ with prayer, Bible reading, and, um, I always forget the last one. Accountability? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Accountability. And what does that mean again? It can be hard to say no to sin on your own. It helps if you have a friend you can trust who can help you say no. That's accountability. Hmm. It helps us say no to sin. We grow wiser and stronger, just like Jesus did as a boy. Here, watch this. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Every year, Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem to celebrate a holiday called the Passover with friends and family. And when Jesus was 12 years old, he got to go with them. Come on, sweetie, it's time to go. I'm here, Mom. Did we get everything, honey? Uh, I think so. Did we get everything? Yes, sir, we got everything. Jerusalem was very crowded because everyone there was celebrating the Passover. After the big celebration was all over, Mary and Joseph left with a huge crowd. They thought Jesus was with them, but Jesus actually stayed behind. I think God wants me to go to the temple to spend time with him. And why not? After all, he is my father. At first, Mary and Joseph didn't notice because they thought he was with the rest of the large crowd. But when night came, they realized Jesus wasn't with his friends and family, and they freaked out. Have you seen Jesus? No. Wasn't he with his friends? I thought so, but maybe he got lost along the way. Brilliant. I've just lost God's son. Excuse me, have you seen Jesus? After three days of searching, Joseph and Mary found Jesus in the temple. He was listening and talking to the priests and teachers of God's law, and they couldn't believe how wise Jesus' answers were. Son, why did you leave us? We've been looking for you for three days. Why did you need to look for me everywhere? Didn't you know I'd be here? Where I can worship my father and be about his business? You see, even as a child, Jesus made the wise choice to seek God and spend time with him above anything else. The Bible says that Jesus went back home and obeyed his parents in everything he did. And Jesus continued to grow taller, but he also grew in wisdom and was blessed by God and people. Even Jesus wanted to grow more mature, so he went to the temple to grow and learn. As we say no to our stinking sin, mm -hmm. we grow in wisdom. Exactly. <laughs> well, you're clean. Well, at least we passed the test. <laughs> The Bible link is Boy Jesus in the Temple. Bible link acquired. <laughs> Thanks for your help, Sarah. Anytime. Well, I've emptied out all the trash cans, but I'm still catching a foul odor. And I can't pinpoint where it's coming from. And you think it's me. I have washed my hands like a hundred times since I've touched that nail polish disaster. <sighs> yeah, you're clean. Oh, no. I take a bath every single day, not only to keep clean, but also to check in with my rubber duckies. George is my favorite. Well, I smell lavender. Yeah, it's my shampoo. Well, it smells lovely. Thank you. It smells not coming from you. 
Now that you mention it, I do smell a faint stink. I'm gonna go now. What is that? There it is again. It smells like sweat and onions. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's my lucky socks. I can't get rid of these. I have to hide them before someone else finds out. got a video from Skip Vision. Great, let's watch. Hey, Winston, want some old apple pie? <laughs> sure, thanks. I found a bag of old brown apples, and I didn't want to throw them away, so I put them in a pie. Mm. <coughs> Eesh. And Carly, a few rotten apples can ruin a good pie. Reminds me of a verse in the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 52. It goes like this. Repeat after me. Luke 2, 52. Luke 2, 52. Jesus became wiser and stronger. Jesus became wiser and stronger. He also became... He also became... More and more pleasing to God and to people more and more pleasing to God and to people. So I guess the fewer rotten apples you have in the pie, the more pleasing your pie tastes to people. Or the less sin you have in your life, the more pleasing you are to people. Well, this pie left a horrible taste in my mouth. <gasps> I'll go get you a glass of old milk. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Wait, no, I <laughs> hope that helps, Mike. That is a great illustration on what keeping sin can do to our lives. Yeah, we should get rid of our garbage, but sometimes it's just hard to let go. No more stinking sin. It's time to grow up. <sighs> There's that smell again. <sighs> I should probably go tell Luke. Oh, why does it smell like sour diapers? Hmm, well, I, I, I don't smell anything. It must be gone. What you doing? Checking the mail. Oh, oh Captain, 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 allow me. <laughs> uh, That's where the smell's coming from, the mailbox. Would you look at that? Ah, ha, ha. Stinky mail, PU postcard. Uh, no, there's something else in there. No, Do Mike, you... Mike, you know what I'm... It's these socks. Look. What are your lucky socks doing in the mailbox? Lucky socks? More like PU socks. Oh, I'm still holding them. I found out my socks were stinky and... I didn't want to get rid of them. I love these socks. So I hit them. Oh, you cannot hold a stink like that. That's a great limit link for Amy's problem. I couldn't hide something stinky. It's better to let it go. Limit link uploaded. <sighs> I would love to upload the rest of the links we found, but either the socks go or I go or the sock go. I'll get rid of them. Or you could wash them. Yeah, but then they won't be so lucky. Hey guys, I found the Bible story link. Why? Why does it smell like rotten eggs in here? Well, that's Luke's luck. Okay guys, let's hurry up and put this connection together so we can get some fresh air. Oh. Hey, Amy, I think we got an answer back from Connect HQ. Let's check it out. Hey, Amy, Luke here from Connect HQ, and we have an answer for you. It's found in the book of Luke. 
See, holding on to a sin when you've decided to be a follower of Jesus is like holding on to a bag of stinky garbage. As we grow up, we have to learn which choices stink. Are you ready? Yeah, are you ready? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Luke 2.52 2. Jesus became wiser and stronger. He also became more and more pleasing to God and to people. Woo! That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Holding on to a sin like cheating when we've decided to be a follower of Jesus is like holding on to a bag of stinky garbage. As we grow up, we have to learn which choices stink. Even when Jesus was a kid, he wanted to learn and grow so he didn't make stinky choices. I had to let go of my own stinky situation today. As much as I wanted to keep both, I couldn't have a nice smelling HQ and my lucky socks. I had to choose one. Don't hold on to garbage. If you need help, read your Bible, pray, ask your friends to help you say no when you can't do it on your own, whatever it takes. You have to say, no more stinking sin. It's time to grow up. Thank you, Amy. And hey, remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Thanks, Connect HQ. You see, God wants us to give all of our sins to him, even things like fighting with your siblings. Hmm. You know what? I will pull the connection transmission from the archives and send it to Lindsay. Before you do that, I need a small favor. Okay. What? Get rid of that milk. It smells like lizard bark. Okay. You got it. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was really good to learn. You know what? I think that I've been hanging on to some of my sins of lying to other people and being mean to them. That's why it's so important to have a friend who can help you say no to sin. And it's also super important to remember that God forgives us and he can help us say no to sin. I am so glad God forgives me. Now, I think that I need to go apologize to my brother mm -hmm. and tell my mother the truth. That sounds like a really good idea, Mr. Ted. Well, until next time. Bye! Bye. Lying is just one of many sins that we can commit. And sin is anything we do that's disobedient to God. But why does sin matter? Sin matters because it requires a punishment. The Bible tells us that we have all sinned and that the punishment for sin is death. And that can feel kind of scary when you first think about it, but I have some good news for you. We have a way to have our sin paid for by Jesus. Jesus came and he lived a perfect life. He did not sin even once. He died on the cross and then three days later he rose from the dead and when he did that he defeated sin and he defeated death. When we place our trust in Jesus he took on the punishment for our sin and we no longer have to pay the price. Jesus already paid the price. Trusting in Jesus is simple. You just need to admit that you are a sinner. Believe that Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sins and confess that you want to place your trust in him. If saying yes to Jesus is something that you want to do today, would you pray with me right now? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for dying on the cross for my sin. I know that I'm a sinner and I know that I sin in a lot of ways, but thank you for taking on my punishment and paying the price for me. I want to follow you for all of my life and obey your commands so that others will then get to know about your love. Help me to tell others about this exciting news and to live a life that follows you. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Well, friends, it's super exciting if you said yes to Jesus. We want to know about it. Tell a leader, tell a parent so that they can let us know and we can help you in your next steps. We're going to celebrate. We're going to get you plugged in with some more things at church and it's just going to be a big party. Until next week, bye.